Junior, I'm I a forgot, junior. Forgot, it's still there. <laughs> and you are Frank Buffett. Frank, it's good to see you. You guys sounded really, really good. I mean, uh, Danny is no longer with us, but you're carrying the torch. Is that correct? Yes, we're continuing on, and uh, you know, just continuing down the line. Hopefully, for the next. Now, years. revival in music has really has been very popular for the last couple of years. Was there a point in the career of Danny and the Juniors when it was so low that you couldn't? do at the hop at a local mall or has it been active the whole time well actually we could kind of go out and work uh, during the 60s it got kind of funny because the music got so crazy yeah you know, we'd work clubs and they'd say hey do some Jimi Hendrix and we said well look we don't play guitar we, we sing so, the juniors. yeah you're gonna right. be back later in the show and uh, actually our crew has a challenge they have to set this home base area for an interview with Leroy Neiman and we have some uh, students from the Philadelphia Art Institute in the audience so we'll be back right after that get it guys <laughs> Alan Zweibel, original Saturday Night Live writer and Thurber Prize winning author of The Other Shulman says, The Adventures of Spike the Wonder Dog is so smart, witty, and inventive that I had to keep reminding myself that I didn't write it. 